On September the 10th, the 8th FIFA Futsal World Cup gets underway in Colombia. Futsal is a fast-moving, highly technical, indoor five-a-side form of the game, and it's becoming more and more popular around the world. Yeah, are you ready for the Futsal World Cup in Colombia? I'm counting on you. Brazil's Alessandro Rosa Viana, better known as Falcao, is considered a pioneer and a legend in the world of futsal. Futsal is my life, and I owe everything I have to futsal, because ever since I was a kid, I've always chosen futsal. I had lots of invitations to play 11 aside, but this was my choice, and I've never regretted it. Falcao has plenty of World Cup pedigree. After making his debut in 2000, he starred in 2004, winning the Golden Ball and the Golden Shoe with 13 goals. In 2008, in front of his home crowd, he was again top scorer, helping his country to a fourth title. Then in 2012, he scored in the final as Brazil retained their crown. My favorite memory is 2008, when I managed to be best player and champion. In 2004, I was the best player and top scorer, but there was no title. So 2008 was the high point of this generation because we lost in 2004. 2000 was still the generation of Manuel Tobias and Fernino. 2004 was already the transition, and 2008 and 2012 were the crowning glory. But my favorite moment was 2008. 24 nations will compete in Colombia, and the gap is narrowing between the traditional powerhouses like Brazil and the chasing pack. I think it will be a much more competitive World Cup, even with the new teams. The same teams are still there, but you always get one or two surprises. Now there's Kazakhstan, with many naturalized Brazilians, with a keeper that plays in a different way. Portugal has Rigardinho, who's playing at his best. And there's also Russia, Spain, Brazil, and Argentina, with their new coach and new game system. They have everything to make them a huge surprise. And then there's Colombia, that made it to the top four in the last World Cup, and will be playing in front of their home fans. Iran and Italy are also teams we can expect a lot from. It's all set to be the best yet. See you in Colombia.